Uh, somebody give me the biggest barrier that you have on your list. Yes? We are, our number one was interruptions by people with different priorities or people that are unaware of my priorities. Okay, so, so is this something that is not just limited to this group? Yes. It's, it's something that you all experience. Okay. So let's, we talked a little bit about that, the, the phone call and how you can uh, reduce the length of a phone call by guiding the person through. What we're saying is that you have your priorities. You are the tech support person. You are the person that is going to solve the problem and you need to get the input in a certain way so that you can gather correct information speed the call along, do it effectively, and solve the problem that the customer has. So, okay, so now this is an internal customer, I assume, right? Somebody inside. And they come up to you, right? And they interrupt you. All right, so how does this work? How does it, give me a typical scenario of what happens. Be careful, Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't first. I was Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. would go to my coworker, Rad, every so often. Okay. More often than I like, and be like, hey, yeah. can you do this thing for me? I have to have it by this certain time. Okay. Not even asking him, hey, do you have the time to do this thing for me? I'm just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it is the goal to eliminate the interruption? Is that the goal? What's the goal here? Is it to eliminate it? I guess it's I think getting a, a better understanding of someone else's pri priorities and understanding that they also have, you know. Yeah. Right. Okay. I think if the person who's being interrupted also, you could say, I can do that, but I probably can't get to it until this certain amount of time. So okay. It's like definitely when we're talking about internally, there's definitely a two-way street there where yeah. you also have to own up to the, I can't do that. Okay. You know? Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, so what I want to do is, we, we never know who's going to be the person interrupting. We never know. Uh, how they're going to approach us or what they're going to do, but, but let's think in terms of if I am the interruptee, if I'm getting interrupted by somebody else, there are two things that I would like to get a handle on, that I would like to use as a tool in order to make this interruption quicker and more efficient and more effective, okay? So the first thing is I want to control the format. of the interruption. And the second thing is I want to negotiate. So let's start with controlling the format. Okay, what's the format of an interruption? It's whatever the interrupter wants to do unless you take control of the format. And when I say take control of the format, how about this? How about I'm the interrupter and I'm working on a project and it's very, very intense and I have a short attention span, so I'm just like, oh, I need to shake it out go get my coffee and just take a little break. And I decide I'm going to take my break over <coughs> where you sit. Hello. Hey, what's going on? And so, you know, I have some, <laughs> I got some questions I want to ask and maybe want to talk about, you know, how was bowling or, you know, I mean, you could, a lot of things that we could talk about. But it's obvious that, that I am on a different um, communication frequency. We're running different protocols here. And um, this is not working for you. Uh, and so for me, the, fo the format for the interruption is, I'm going to sit down with my coffee. We're going to take it easy. We're going to kind of start out by talking about what happened last weekend and work our way around to a couple of things that I want to talk to you about. Is that good for you? If I was working now, no. No, no. <laughs> OK. So what could you do to, do to control the format? Um, I, I guess with that, you're saying, letting people know whether it's by an email or IM or someone coming to talk to you, kind of doing that over time so that way people know the best way to, that how you like to get requests from them. Okay. I mean, in this scenario, I'd okay. say, yes. I'm working, you know, I'm working on something. I'll find you later. Right? <laughs> Maybe defer to later. Like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm busy with a project now. Can we talk about, let's, let's catch up on this later. Yeah, so that would be an attempt to control. <laughs> it's an attempt. So the interrupter would appreciate, like, I'll catch up with you later. How's 2 p.m.? Because sometimes I'm like, are they really going to come back later? <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah. Because yeah. it's important. Sure. And you understand there's a tradition, right. but you just want to know, like, in the next hour, I'm going to find you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The other thing oh. you could do is, that, especially if there's something you needed to talk to that person about anyway, yeah. and it's like, okay, I'm going to go to my task, I'm going to pull that out and say, hey, I'm glad you're here. Can I ask you about? Oh, uh, yeah. Turn it around on them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got great ideas. Okay, now I, I, <laughs> I'm going I'm to give you a process you can use or not. This is one of those pearls, but, but hey, you know, you can tromp it in the ground, not use it if you want. You say, oh, I can't use this. It wouldn't work for me. I call it the two-minute interrupt rule. So look in your workbook on page five, bottom of the page. Cut that out, put it in your cubicle, and define a two-minute interrupt zone. Okay, now here's how this works. Here's how it works. This is, this is how you change, how you control the format. You tell, you, you starting w whenever you get back to, your, uh, to, to work, when this meeting is over and so forth, uh, you, pu you put this thing up in your cubicle and somebody comes up and they interrupt you. You say to them, uh, assuming that it's not somebody in this room, if it's not somebody in this room, you say, I went to a time management class, it was part of that meeting, and I tell you, I, I've really had a hard time with my own productivity. And I'm trying to make use of the time that we spent in time management class. And one of the things that I am practicing now, and I need your support on it, it's called the two-minute interrupt rule. And I need your help. Could you help me? Okay, then you explain how it works. You can interrupt me at any time, but when you come in to interrupt, I ask for three pieces of information in the first two minutes that you walk into my workspace. And that is the headline, the level of importance, and the bottom line. What do we mean by the headline? If you pick up a newspaper, and it's got articles, and each one has a headline. And the reason they put the headline there is to tell you what the article is about. Now, there are a lot of people who don't use headlines when they communicate. They come in, they start talking, they don't tell you why they're here, what it's about. You'll figure it out sooner or later when they get around to it. <laughs> but that's not the format you want. So the headline. Why are you here? Okay? In a nutshell, why am I here? All right, the, the level of importance. Now, this is subjective. Everybody thinks whatever they have is the most important thing. But it's just trying to get some kind of a, um, a, a level. Is it, is it, is it an earth-shaking importance, or is it kind of important? What, where is it? Just a subjective view of how important it is. The bottom line, that's the deliverable. What do you need from me? You know how sometimes it takes somebody 20 minutes to tell you what the deliverable is. They start talking about the problem, the problem, you know, and I'm going to say, okay, so what do you need from me? Oh, I just want to brainstorm some ideas. Oh, so this was a brainstorming session, right, right when I'm right in the middle of trying to get all my work done. I mean, you don't know my priorities. You don't know what's going on. And I didn't find out it was a brainstorming session until 20 minutes into it. So it would be really helpful for me to have a scope of what it is and why you came into my office. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give you the right to come into my office anytime and interrupt me no matter what I'm doing. In return, I ask for one thing, control of the format. I just want you to come in and give me these, these three things. Okay, I was running a marketing department at, at, uh, for one company, and we were having productivity problems. And wh what would happen is my, my, on, on, in my creative department, I had people who, uh, you know, they did design and they did design brochures and, and ad campaigns and various things like that. So somebody would come in and they say, oh, we need this, this product literature or this whatever. And so they would sit down and brainstorm. And they would start talking about it, and they could eat up half a day. And they would ask the person, the request or if they'd done any research, and what about this? And of course, they hadn't done anything. they just coming into my department with my people using up all their time. My people are complaining they're not getting all their work done. So then we implemented a process. And the process was, if you want us to do anything for you, we'll fill out this three-page questionnaire. And everybody hated it. But it made them ask, it asked them certain questions. What is the intent? Who's the target audience? What are you, what's the result that you want to get? Lots of things that they maybe never thought about. And, and so and people complained about it at first, but at, when they got used to it, and we had to sell the idea and, and say that this is to help you think it through. 
because yes, we are the marketing department, but you need to think about what your purpose is for this piece that you want us to do for you. And, and then after everybody got used to it, it worked. And the thing is, it, it made a huge impact on the productivity of the people in my department because when they came in and they had thought things through, we were able to sit down, get to business, and start focusing on what the piece will look like and so forth. And we've, we've, we've got the details of what the purpose is. And I'm not saying that we're, I want to add red tape and, and that kind of stuff. I don't, have a three-page form. You can interrupt me if you fill out this three-page form first. But what I am saying is that there is a training thing here. So let, let's, let's talk about training. If you let people interrupt you the way they want to interrupt you and you allow them to get by with it, then you are training them to keep doing it just that way. That's passive training. So I, you, you used the word proactive before, right? So I think proactive training would be really good. And that is, I want to train you to do things the way it works for me from a productivity point of view. After all, you are coming to me asking for something from me. So this is the way it would really help if you could do, give me these three pieces of information. Now, I'm saying doing it in a friendly way, but explain to them from a priority point of view, you, you, there's only so much you can do to be able to manage your time. And this is one thing that is really important, but it won't work unless I get cooperation from everybody. Would you agree? Now that's a negotiation. I'm going to negotiate with every interrupter and what is a negotiation? What's the difference between nagging and negotiating? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Nagging is one way. It, it, nagging is telling somebody what you want them to do or what you want them to stop doing. Negotiating is getting their agreement on how the behavior will be going forward. So I, I'm saying uh, it, what it, it would really help me if when you come in, you could just give me these three pieces of information right up front. Okay, then when you do that, I might look at it and based on what I'm doing, I say, okay, I'm going to stop whatever I'm doing. This is important. Let's work it out together right now. Or I might say to you, uh, well, based on that, we need at least 30 minutes and I'm working on a project right now. I've got to get back to this customer. Um, how about 2 o'clock this afternoon? Are you available then? And we'll work this out from 2 to 2.30. Or you might say, uh, listen. Uh, if that's what you want, it would be really helpful if you could send me an email and give me all the parameters to that deliverable you want. I need to know this, 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 and this. So you want me to, to do this spreadsheet for you or something like that? I need this, th this data from you. If you could send that to me in an email, then I'll get it back to you. From the point in time that I receive the email, I'll get it back to you within one business day or w whatever. Okay, now what you're trying to do is you're trying to think of the most efficient and effective way to get them the deliverable that they're asking for. But you can't do that if you don't know what the deliverable is. And if it takes them 20 minutes to get it out of their mouth, they're eating up too much time. So, so what we're talking about here is putting a new definition on an interruption and saying an interruption, this type of an interruption, is two minutes. Okay, so the way computers work is they're interrupt driven, right? So if you, do, if you, if, if you have a computer and you're running a, a background job of some kind and you come up to the computer and you start typing, your keystrokes are an interrupt. And, the, and according to the operating system, the way the CPU l works, it's running the background job and all of a sudden it gets an interrupt. So it looks at the keystroke and decides what it is that it has to do. Maybe it kicks off another another task and now it's running two background tasks or something like that. But it's interrupt driven, which means it is designed so that at any point in time you can come up to, the, to it and use the keyboard. You are interrupt driven, just like a computer. You are allowing people to come in, you're just like a keyboard, and to basically do the inputs. What you're asking is that the input come in a certain format. That's all. That's reasonable. Now, 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 the trade-off is this, there's a lot of people who, in their personality, they, they're just, ah, oh, they're just so nice. And it's like, oh, I, I, I just couldn't do this. Oh, come on, get over yourself. I mean, we <laughs> need to be, we need to be productive, okay? This is, this is not, not nice. This is a very nice thing to do. It, it's a productive thing to do. Now, 
It might, you don't have to have an egg timer and say, oh, your time's up, get out of here. But what we're trying to do is, <laughs> there's a difference between getting interrupted and getting sidetracked. Okay, getting sidetracked. This is where inadvertently, because you didn't set the format or you didn't take control, all of a sudden you were working on this and you got sidetracked. And we're going to be talking about managing priorities. And if you want to manage your priorities, you cannot afford to get sidetracked not even one time during the day. What you do is you make a decision from a priority point of view. Somebody comes in, they give me an interrupt. They say, I need you to work on this. You look at it based on the level of importance and what you're working on and so forth. You can say, that's the most important thing for me to work on right now. I'm going to make a conscious decision to stop what I'm doing and work on this, and then I'll get back to it. Okay, you didn't get sidetracked. You made a priority decision. But you can't make a priority decision unless you get enough information to make a decision. And if people take that long to give you the information you need, you don't actually make a decision. You just get sidetracked, and that's very frustrating. Now, if this doesn't work for you, use something else. But what I'm saying, in your own way, work at controlling the format and negotiate with the individuals who interrupt you on how they can work within the format that supports you, okay? 